I'm going to kick off this video again with no apology for saying download the I'm a Celebrity app and cast your five free votes for Nigel Farage. Yes, he does actually look like that. And before you curmudgeonly harumph about having nothing to do with reality TV, never have done, never will do, you're not voting for that. You're voting for exposure to an audience to date lied to by a mainstream media, which can now only sit back in impotent fury and watch as their well-oiled machine collapses before their eyes. So vote for Big Nige, leader of the Tory party post-2025 and Prime Minister in 2029. And do not think for a second that I'm just looking for excuses to post goofy memes. I would never do that, perish the thought. Big Nige's stint has included one of the other contestants giving insight into what a lot of people have clearly been told about Brexit and how those people who have told them are opportunistically trying to cover up the catastrophic effects of the lockdown policy by blaming those effects on Brexit. In other words, why kill one bird with one stone when you can get two? Do you think things would turn out differently if you hadn't have gone down the, the migrant route or the... No, I think not controlling your borders was the biggest reason we won. But have we, we, have we ever, you know, has that changed? Or, cause I well, this is the problem. No, it hasn't. You know, oh. We have to be sensible. But if you've changed all these laws, Nigel, why aren't they being done correctly? That's the point. That's the point. And they're making us pay now by all these extra charges and taxes they're putting on food, income and import. <laughs> You go to the supermarket now, and, and, a, and a shop that was £80 yeah. is now 120 The relevant bits here are, and they're making us pay now by all those extra charges and taxes they're putting on food, incoming imports. Which he further clarifies, you go to the supermarket now, and a shop that was £80 is now 120 The inflation we've been seeing for quite a long time was caused by Brexit, seems to be the claim. This is a snapshot from June this year, and the reason we're looking at June is because it's the month I came to and I googled the matter and no other particular reason. You can see the EU average was 6.4%, and even if we ignore the two crazy outliers, the worst starts around 13%. The UK is towards the centre at 7.3%. EU average 6.4%, UK 7.3%, just 0.9% higher. Those numbers are Europe-wide. And the last time I checked, Germany was in the EU, and their numbers are only 0.5% better than ours. And Austria is also in the EU, and their numbers are 0.5% worse than ours. So what was it down to? Since it clearly wasn't Brexit, because only the UK left the EU, and all the other countries which are as good as, as bad as, and worse than us, are all currently in the EU. They haven't left the EU. What was it down to? Exclusively at the beginning and continuing so now except that the waters have been muddied a little bit as time has passed. This is Mervyn King, former governor of the Bank of England and well qualified to speak on the subject. And central banks have lost control of inflation. Governments lost control of the public finance. Not surprising that markets respond to that. And whose responsibility was it then, if both the central bank and the government lost control? Well, I think all, all central banks in the West, interestingly, made the same mistake. And during COVID, when the economy was actually contracting because of lockdown, central banks decided it was a good time to print a lot of money. That was a mistake. That led to inflation. We had too much money chasing too few goods. And the result was inflation. That was predictable. It was predicted and it happened. The numbers back up what he says. Low during the lockdown period, then kicking off from April 21, just after the last one, to over 6% in February 22. All down to what Mervyn King described because it was the only possible cause. Why have I limited it to ending in February 22? Because the Ukraine war hadn't started until then. When it started, those numbers then were muddied somewhat by the effects on, I suppose, grain and fuel imports. But from April 21 until February 22, all the inflation that you see was exclusively caused by the effects 
of the lockdown policy, the quantitative easing, as explained by the former governor of the Bank of England, Mervyn King, not Brexit. Tony. And they're making us pay now by all these extra charges and taxes they're putting on food, income and import. You go to the supermarket now, and, and, a, and a shop that was £80 yeah. is now 120 I posted that Mervyn King BBC clip for a second time on Twitter, directed at the man himself, not that he'll see it. Feel free to share it if you care to, the link is in the description box, i.e. the box directly underneath the video you're currently watching. Feel free to share it if you want to. And don't forget to cast your five free votes for Nigel.